This week on the Fab Forums, I get the entire rear section of the Bibster kind of finalized. All the tubing, rear bumper, got the diffuser stuff figured out, and it's all removable. Let me take just a second and show you what else I've got going on in the shop. So I had some buddies over to help me out with uh, Project White Bread, or at least that's what I'm calling it for now. Haven't really talked a whole lot about this, kind of dropped some hints here and there. Gonna be a full video on this thing very soon. We're doing some modifications to lighten this bad boy up. So briefly, the idea behind this ride is that it's gonna be 100% full function vehicle. Like, don't care about the looks, just gonna be all about function. And lightening, lighting, light, lightening, and making this thing lighter is one, of, is one part of that function. I want this thing to be like an all purpose vehicle with minimal changes between different setups, so you know, I want to go to the drag strip, do some drag racing. I want to do some grip grip racing, we can do that. Do some drifting, we can do that. Do burnouts, we can do that. So I kind of want it to be used in anything. I just want to be able to beat on it. Have maybe have some different motor combinations to slide in and out of this thing. A couple of suspension changes and I can go kind of do whatever it is that I want to do. And, you know, if I get a scratch or a dent, I don't have to worry about it. The other thing I did this week was Start working on the office table. Um, still got some work to do on that, mainly the top. Got to figure that out. But uh, yeah, once I get get that thing kind of figured out and done, and get it filmed, I'll have a full video on that. Obviously, none of these will be on a Friday because we're gonna save Fridays for the Bibster. So let's uh, let's start working on the Bibster. Last video I left off, I was kind of finishing up these top pieces, and you can see I just got them in two separate pieces. I uh, just tacked the top portion to the chassis itself. Got a bolt in here, there's an insert. So it's just got some inserts very similar to this. One of them, one side is welded in and then it just creates a slip joint for the other side. So these are done, just got a little quarter inch, quarter inch bolt, nice tight fit. I'll weld the top part solid. And then I got the bottom pieces bent in the last episode that I want to go in here, both sides. So now I just gotta start notching. So I'm gonna notch the front first, kinda get that um, depth situated. And then I can come out here and try to figure out how I need to notch this bottom tube to kinda fit these. And then once I do that, I can cut the front off put the same inserts that I've got up here in there and theoretically the whole thing will be removable it should slide right off got some tail lights ordered got some ideas on for do for tail lights I think it's gonna be ultra trick so that should come soon once I get all those bars done and braced a little bit where it's removable I can pull it off stick it on the table and then start putting some of the panels in the tag plate um, some more bracing I can do a lot of that stuff on the table and not down here on the floor. So that's basically what I'm looking at there. It's just gonna tie in up front. Um, distance between this tube and that tube is, what is it, the 20 and a half inches I need. Um, just like the front. And then it just comes and ties in right back here and I'll probably end up doing some kind of kickers just to kind of minimize any side movement this, movement this thing might have. May even do the same thing up in here. 
and then uh, we'll probably even take something from this tube maybe up to that tube or something really the main reason for doing those kickers up front well really all of them uh, I want to be able to jack the whole rear end up off of this rear section like I said before I'm gonna have a jack point in here so the jack point will probably be you know right in here somewhere that kind of hangs at the bottom just enough where a jack can get on it but you can't really see it in the diffuser from the outside um, also gonna put the fuel cell right here I think so if you kind of look if you can kind of imagine you know having a tube come out on both sides like this maybe go across and then maybe one kicks down to that side one kicks down to that side and maybe have something that comes up and ties into this um, just to kind of give this whole thing some structure and then I'll build a fuel cell that kind of goes down right here you know maybe it's flat goes down all the way across over here and up and kind of you know really close to that rear end right up in here somewhere and you know, have the pump and filler kind of up top here maybe make a lid that flips up on this thing or something but I also wanted to, if I end up using these uh, Pro Jacks, if I do have the rear bumper off, I still want to be able to use those Pro Jacks. And so what I'll probably do is those lower sections, um, I'll cut them about halfway back. So, so like these lower tubes here, I'll probably cut it, you know, like maybe right in here somewhere and have that be the insert where the two connect and then that way if this back section's off and i got this kind of gusted it up those projects could slide right up under these tubes still lift this thing up and down work on it um with the rear end i mean with the rear bumper on or off the projects still work so with it in the air i can pull the rear bumper off rear end could come out all that kind of stuff i mean i, mean, I don't really plan on utilizing this thing as like a, a drag car road car or anything like that but you know, you just got to kind of think through these things and make your job easier as you, as you have this thing over the long term. So now really all I got to do is pull those out, put the inserts in them. I'll kind of show you how I did it on the top. I'll kind of walk you through the process. This go around. Uh, basically, I just kind of spot weld one side in and then once I get everything kind of in and tacked up, then I just drill a hole through them and... Yeah, run a bolt right through there. You can actually see the tack welds there. Maybe you can't because the camera won't focus, but so I just drilled it and then kind of spot welded it. I did that in a couple spots. Also show you a little tip that I did or that I use. So a lot of times when you're doing notching like this where you know you got this tube running this way at a funky angle, so you got you, know, you got the angle of the tube going down, but then if you look from the top, it's not going, you know, it's not perfectly, yeah, I don't know where I'm looking for is, but it's an odd, it's an odd angle. So what I usually do is I try to kind of, first of all, I kind of try to mimic the line of this tube here, and then I'll just kind of mark it. And you can see that's what I've done right there. I'm hoping that that's the center of the cut that I'm going down through. Uh, it's usually a guess, and after the first one, I kind of get an idea of which way I need to cheat it. And usually the first cut, I still have a bunch. I got to, you know, eat a bunch more out of it anyway, so kind of work my way up on it. And then what I'll do is I kind of mark this side by eye once I start getting close. I'll just kind of like start marking it. And once I get really close, you can almost take the pin and just lay it on the tube. And then just kind of follow it around the tube like that. And right now it doesn't need to be trimmed, but say that notch wasn't what it is. As I run that thing around the tube, it's going to give me that contour of this tube. I can go in there with a grinding wheel and uh, kind of clean it up and get those, get those things to fit up real good. Little tip for those tough, tough um, pieces. A lot of times you just got to creep up on it. I probably worked on these two for... Gosh, a good couple hours probably just because, 
you don't want to get too far because then you ruin the whole tube. You know, if you start cutting it too short or you get it way off or something. So I just kind of bite away at it. Initially, they're pretty big bites, but then when you get to, to the end, you're just kind of like marking those little spots. You take it with a flat disc, clean it up, fit it, find some more little spots, you mark those, and you just keep working that thing until you get exactly what you want. Like that, it slides right off. So now that it's on the bench, I'll go through and kind of weld all this stuff up. Um, it's already on there. I'll probably put it back in the car to kind of add any more just to make sure that thing's still centered and hadn't moved on me none. And then I can uh, start putting some panels in it. So I already got panels kind of mocked up let's see Where's that one like that Pretty tough to do one in so anyway it's that panel gun there like that um, kind of mirrors it on the other side and then this section here, I'll put the panel on the inside. So I have like a recessed tag piece. I've even got some like lit uh, tag bolts. So it'll light the plate. And then what I'm thinking for the brake lights, if you guys remember, um, the sheet metal on this thing is just gonna come down and you know, like kind of curve out a little bit and do something like that. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a plate that kind of comes in here Maybe, maybe that far, and then comes up. And then I'm gonna mount the LED light in there. And then this sheet metal, when it comes down, it'll just come down and kind of stop like that. So, you know, from this angle, you won't really see anything until you hit the brake lights and it's gonna light up all that metal. And then there'll actually be brake light, light coming out, coming out of that slot. So it'll just have like a slot in there. Unless you get down, you won't actually see the LED itself, I don't think. So it'll be cool, it'll kind of be hidden, won't be any plastic showing. Um, the LED itself has uh, two brightnesses, so it'll have a blinker and the brake, or just running lights, so it'll have both. Probably won't be the most legal, legit legal thing. I mean, I'm sure there's stipulations on what you can have and can't have and how bright it has to be, how big it has to be. How high off the ground it has to be, all that stuff, but I mean, I don't really think much is really going to pass on this thing, so 
right here, I don't think they give me a hard time. As long as I'm not raising hell. So anyway, that's all I got for you this week. As always, thank you for joining me. Table video coming soon. White bread video coming soon. Y'all go do work, son.